I get concerned every time I see the prince, screw tape letters, and the art of war whispering together. What are they planning? <laughs> Those guys? Oh, they're harmless. Are you kidding? They're like the ultimate books on strategic domination. They're amateurs. I could understand you being concerned about the world scripture shelf, the world history shelf, or even the Isaac Asimov shelf. But even they're more harmless than not. It's the Terry Pratchett Discworld books you should be worried about. Those are the only books that could take over any community irrelevant of rivals. Well, why? What do they have that the rest of the books in this library don't have? It's more like what don't they have? They have everything from giant space monsters to hordes of goblins to time travel. They also have a really profitable postage system, which is crazy, right? They even have Death himself at their disposal. The two most important points, though, are first, they've got a brilliant orangutan who has direct access to every library ever. And second, they have the most cunning tyrant lord who has ever been conceived, Havelock Veterinari. He's the greatest political strategist of all time. The man who not only has the will to rule, but who also has the brains to carry it out against any odds. Gosh, I didn't know. What can we do to stop this veterinary guy from taking over? Oh, <laughs> it's inevitable. But don't worry, unless you're really good at doing your job, you should be pretty comfortable under his rule. I have considered each of the books in this library, and I can tell. You and your friends will be ruling it before long now. I can help you build your empire. They think Veterinari's the mastermind most likely to take over, do they? Clearly, they haven't heard of Capricorn. Inkart, you're a book filled with other books. It's kind of embarrassing the way you keep overestimating your antagonist. Capricorn can't even measure up to the other bad guys in your sequel books. Doop. <laughs>